Hello, I'm Time from Techie Life Island. What do you think of my new suit? In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you too can make yourself a suit like this, using a simple T-shape to make the trousers and a similar type object to make the jacket, and how to import them into your avatar. Let's begin with making the trousers. Open the T-piece SMLS file, which you can download from the link below. As you can see, the T-piece object contains four nerve patch nodes. Zoom in using the mouse wheel and position the view by dragging on empty space. To select multiple control points, hold down the left shift key while dragging. To rotate the selected points, drag the green control point on the end of this orientation lever. The control points rotate around the blue pivot point. Each time we select a group of points, the pivot point is automatically put in the center of the selected points. Drag the pivot point to change its position. By holding down both the left control and left shift keys while dragging the orientation lever, we can simultaneously rotate and stretch the selected points. To move the selected points, also known as translating, drag any one of the selected points. By holding down the left alt key while dragging the orientation lever, we can stretch the selected points in the direction of the orientation lever. This is the same stretch function we used before, except we are prevented from accidentally rotating the selected points, which is useful. These stretch functions scale the selected points in only one dimension, but we can stretch in any dimension by changing the view orientation. OK, it already looks like a pair of trousers, but notice how here the control points are not so evenly distributed. Less control points in a region means less control shaping the region, but we can more evenly distribute the control points by stretching and dragging nearby points towards the region. When done, save the trousers to a file so that we can import them later. Now to make the jacket. Open the jacket.smls file which you can download from the same link we downloaded the T-piece from. This basic object is in fact very similar to the T-piece except it is made from four cylinders instead of three and the mid patches are not joined together at the front so that we can leave the jacket partially or fully unbuttoned. This same object can also be used to make a shirt. We want to make the arms thinner using the stretch or in this case the squash function but our orientation lever is not at the right angle. To change the orientation of the lever without rotating the selected points put the lever into neutral by holding down the left control key. Now we can squash our arm. We can squash or stretch in two dimensions simultaneously by holding down both the left control and left alt keys. Use the rectangle selection tool to unselect control points the same way as when selecting points except hold down both the left control and left shift key while dragging out the rectangle. Set the view to a 45 degree angle to make it easy to bend the arms down 45 degrees. Unselect all of the selected points except for the first ring so that we can rotate the first ring back to being oriented halfway between the arm and the torso. Drag the arms out. And stretch the torso in one dimension to meet the arms. Squash in the neck in two dimensions. Shorten the neck. And bring down the top ring to form the collar. Tilt the collar forward a little from a side on view.
feel free to play with the collar to style it to your liking. Close in the front to button up the jacket. Now our jacket is ready to be imported.